What's up? It's your girl, Cash Arroyo, aka That Girl with PCOS. Listen, I was picking at my face. I shouldn't have, but I'm human, just like the rest of y'all. So today's video is shot on my 2017 Apple MacBook. So it's a little fuzzy. It's not as clear as the iPhone, but you know, we're gonna let them slide. I don't have a lot of storage on my iPhone. And that is what I record on because um, it's clear, it's 4K, it's popping, and it's just simpler and easier and I can take my phone everywhere. But um, nonetheless, I am recording on my laptop today. So today's video is going to be a mini haul slash unpacking, super mini, and a get ready with me. I am going to be talking about the time that my ex-boyfriend kicked me out. <laughs> so... I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Make sure that you subscribe, like, love, comment, share, whatever makes you feel better inside. Um, so yeah, let's get started. That girl with PCOS. So the first mini haul is going to be by Walmart, who doesn't sponsor any of us. <laughs> Um, I initially went in there because I need a primer and cat litter. And I just bought a whole bunch of shit I didn't need. The first thing that I bought that I used already, which I did go there for this too, was um, Lip Smacker Kiss Therapy SPF 30 Strawberry Chapstick. I hope you guys can see that. It's cute. And I used this yesterday and it worked really good. My lips, for some reason, are chapped right now. I don't know. I've been doing a lot of, um, I think when I'm like really busy, sorry, I think when I'm really busy and I'm doing like a lot of running around, my lips get chappy, it's weird. And I've been driving to different cities where I live because I've had to handle a lot of business stuff and I think my lips get chapped. This doesn't have a taste to it, but it's really smooth. It smells so good and it really does the trick. Okay, Zaddy. Okay. I went in there to buy this primer that I've been using, and I seem to really like this primer. Um, it seems to be doing the job. I don't really know what primer is supposed to do. It is the Milani um, Prime Life Face Primer, strobing, pore, minimizing, oil-free, because you know, you go black and oily already. I don't know the price for everything because I left the receipt in the car, but guys, it's Walmart. I don't think I paid uh, more than $10 or more than $11 for anything that I've bought. Honestly, more than $10, okay? So, um, since I really like that primer, I've heard a lot of people talk about Milani, so and beige is the color that I got. So we gonna see how this works. I tried it yesterday, it seemed to be my color, but I don't know, because sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. I be acting like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. Then I really needed some setting spray, so I'm hype about this because I've only been setting with powder and just going about my life for like months now, and it works for me, but maybe using some setting spray might work a little bit more. This, um, this is the Milani setting powder, and again, this is the last one that they had, and somebody had opened it and messed with it already, but I don't care. I decided to get this Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. I got this because I used to use like this um this mascara that was just like this. It had like the little falsy fiber fake eyelash feel to it. I um unique. That's who used to sell it. Okay, another thing that I decided to get was so this is um Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink, and this is in the color 75 Fighter. That's a nice color, right? Yeah. I have been loving the Patrick Star powder, but uh, I definitely wanted to try something else that I've seen around, so I got some Airspun. Ooh, why is it wet back there? Okay, so I got some Airspun. I got Naturally Neutral. I should have probably opened it while I was in there, but I didn't. And then I got some... Extra spearmint long-lasting gum because I talk to people for a living and I love this gum Okay, okay All right, that was the first mini haul and that was for Walmart and then I went to my favorite hair store out here It's called um, Beauty exchange 
hair store, hair supply store. Okay, so it's basically a hair store where you get all your hair for braiding, your weaves, your bundles, all kind of hair products. Like, listen, when I walked into that store for the first time, I was in love. They had everything, okay? Everything that I wanted. They had <laughs> Okay, so so I went to get my Holy Grail Late Leave. I've been using this hair product, and I am in love with how it leaves my hair. So, I mean, if you guys want to try something that I've been using, I definitely recommend that you try Twisted Sisters. I wish I could show you all the empty bottles that I'd be having laying around here. But this right here is Holy Grail, and I paid $8.99 for this. I also decided to try something else of theirs, which is the Twisted Sister Farewell to Frizz Deep Conditioning Mask. Um, if you follow me on social media, you know I don't really buy these masks or any deep conditioning products because I make mine from scratch and they are popping. But I wanted to give this a try because I really, 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 really like this. So then I decided to get the Blueberry and Coconut Hair Milk. I paid $15.49 for this shit. So this, better be too, this better be good. And I was kind of mad because after I bought it, I went on Instagram and one of my homegirls posted it and was like, Walgreens is having a uh, buy one, get one free. So you're telling me I paid $15 for one? Like I said, this better be worth it. Damn, it does smell like blueberries. Damn, now I want some blueberry pancakes. What the? And then I bought some uh, regular schmegular... Um, long lasting, semi permanent, um, water liner pen thingies. This is what I use for my eyebrows, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I use for my eyebrows. Don't get it twisted. I pay $1.99 for this. And my eyebrows be looking like. <laughs> I'm gonna do some little bit of unboxing. Now, with my unboxing, I already unboxed it, but I wanted to show you guys what I got in the mail recently. Um, I'm very impatient and I be wanting to open everything as soon as I get it. Um, you know, I know one day I'm going to get tons of packages where I'll be able to record the moment where I get like tons of them and open them right then and there. But I already opened these packages, so too bad. This is what I got. I wanted to share it with you guys because I am going to be doing reviews on them in upcoming days. So I've gotten something from Redkin before. Let me tell you a little quick story. I've gotten something from Redkin before and it was some hair supplies, whatever. And I ended up giving the hair supplies away because I had keratin in it. And I don't do keratin. So I got this yesterday and I'm like, oh, Clarion, Clarion, whatever, whoever it was, they must have sent me something again. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put that in my giveaway. Because I wasn't expecting anything. Bruh. I opened this package. I had never been so hyped to get a package from anybody before. I had never tried this hair company. I wanted to try this hair company. They are on the more expensive side. But I was going to get around to them. But they sent me a package. I got this package, like I was saying. And I was so happy. You guys probably want to know who it is. So I'm going to just tell you all who it is. But this is Carol's Daughter. <laughs> Cactus Rose Water Volume and Lightweight Moisture System Lightweight Conditioner. Bruh, Carol's daughter sent me a package. I'm like blown away. Okay, so this is Cactus Rose Water Volume Lightweight Moisture System Volume Spray. I'm really happy that they sent me this, you guys. If you're watching this, thank you. I'm really, really happy that I got that. So thank you. Okay, so the second package that I got was from a Diva Cut Hair Stylist, Curly Cut Stylist. Um, if you are in the Tampa area, Central Florida area, her name is Nicole Curls. You can find her on Nicole Curls. Um, on Instagram, she is based out of Tampa, and sh she has not cut my hair yet or done anything to my hair, but we is tight. We is Instagram friends, and she's super cool. I love her personality. I just, she's so bomb, and she was nice enough to send me some pillow cases. Okay, let me, listen, it's cute little packaging. Yes, girl. So, I'm not sure if these are satin or silk. Hey, I'm poor. I do not know the difference between silk or satin. So the point of these pillowcases is to stop your hair from tangling and from the frizz while you sleep. So when you put your hair up or whatever in a nice little um, pineapple and you sleep on a pillowcase, that your, these pillowcases will keep your hair from not frizzing up as bad. And this helps with acne, boo-boo. Thank you, Nicole Curls. I cannot wait to put that on my bed. 
the last little package that I got, like I said again, guys, I have opened these things up, is from, um, I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong, so please excuse me, um, Ruex, I, I don't know how to say it, okay, it's G-R-E-A-U-X, healthy hair system. So they sent me a package um, through Octoly. If you don't know what Octoly is, Octoly is basically, um, it's an app where um, ambassadors and social media butterflies can go on and they re can request things from different companies like makeup, different kind of products that you could use, hair stuff, and they'll send it to you for free. But in exchange, you have to give them a review, whether it's good, whether it's bad on that uh, said item. And then you'll turn in you put it on your um, Instagram, your social media, everywhere, and then you basically tag them and you tag Octoly, and that's how you build with Octoly. You get points, you get credits, which is a dope system. Whoever created it, shout out to you. So I went ahead and I ordered um, a shampoo, conditioner, and some healthy hair drops for accelerated hair growth. Now, y'all know... It takes me forever to get my hair growing, but my hair is growing right now, which is so bomb. I've actually um, started using these a couple days ago. So I'm going to take a before and an after picture after using this for 30 days. I am, however, going to start on March 1st with these. And it is February 26th, 27th, I don't know. I am going to use these as well, which is their shampoo and conditioner. And this is supposed to help with moisture and growth and length retention which is also bomb because basically that looks like just what they really want to focus on is your hair getting thick and it growing which i'm all here for sister so thank you so much to this company i'm sorry vip hair luxury or vip luxury hair care I cannot pronounce that name but their main name is vip luxury hair care thank you i have to go to work in a little bit sorry if you can see my mirror i really honestly don't care <laughs> I really don't. Um, and I can't be out here looking crazy. Yes, I shaved my chin because I grow hair here and on my face because it helps with um, the acne not getting as bad. And honey, I'm not trying to look like a little little boy with hair on my face. All right. I, I do have lotion on my face. I'm not going to show you the lotion that I use because I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be using that for my face. It's like a body lotion, but who cares? So I'm thinking about using the products that I bought today for this video just to see if I like it or not. I'm also going to be doing some eyeshadow um, and I'm going to show you guys the palettes and stuff that I'm going to use. I also need some new makeup brushes. Your girl is poked. And it's going to be rich one day. If you guys want to um, send me some brushes, that would be great. So, I'm going to start with my eyebrows. <clears throat> and I'm going to move my chair in a little bit more. And that's okay with y'all. <clears throat> if I can even move this shit in. I lift my goddamn leg up. Ugh. So, again, I am using this $1.99 um, semi-permanent long-lasting uh, water liner. LA Girl Endless. That's what it's called. I don't know if you guys could see that for my eyebrows and you'll see because my eyebrows are already nice I got them done yesterday so I got burned right here <sighs> I'm sensitive and so they have a good shape but there is some spots I could need some work okay okay I do is I'm going to clean up my eyebrows not the night that they necessarily need it but it just would make me feel better if I did it and it makes it pop for some reason pop lock and drop it I'm not doing much talking here okay so I'm gonna just so thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching to my channel uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering like stuff about me, so I'm going to just give you a little quick bio. I am, I just turned 27. Um, um, I reside in Orlando, Florida. And I am Jamaican and Puerto Rican. 
Let me be online. Who knows? I um, was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And um, I moved here when I was a baby because my mom was a thug and wanted to get out of Philly. That's so funny. I said she was a thug. My mom just didn't want to be in Philly no more. So she bounced. And uh, here I am. <laughs> funny because... Um, I was adopted when I was younger, right? After, like, my mom moved me here. Like, there were some things that happened, and she gave me up for adoption. And uh, I know who my mom is. We're cool as fuck, whatever. She's dope. She's literally... I'm literally her. Like, it's so cute. And, um... I moved here as a baby, whatever. <laughs> it's funny, because when I was little, I was actually kidnapped. <laughs> I always think that that's such a funny story to tell people because it's like unreal. It's like, really, bitch, did you really get kidnapped? And I did because I'm popping. But clearly, I was returned because who wants to deal with me? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I was returned because the feds is looking for the girl. Um, but yeah, I was um, actually kidnapped by a family friend. She was crazy. And I don't even know where she's at these days. She was like my aunt's friend. And she actually had adopted or taken in my brother, my oldest brother, and she wanted me and she tried to go to court with me, but um, she lost. And I remember in the court, I was like old enough to like realize the things that were going on. And the judge asked me if who I wanted to live with. And I pointed to the other set of family, which is who adopted me because I had been living with them for a little while and I kind of knew who they were. So I said them and she was not happy, but she had she had already kidnapped me before then so um yeah so <laughs> i always think that's a cute fun story to tell people i was kidnapped who doesn't want to kidnap the girl uh -huh. um yeah so i was adopted at a very young age um i was actually adopted by my godparents because um my mom was going through some things and she could not care for me and my siblings anymore and we all kind of just broke up and went into different like households but that's like another story i'm not about to get into that but i know all of my siblings i know my mom i don't know my father um he passed away my biological father passed away um, i went to look for him in philly and i got the news it's still kind of hard to swallow <laughs> um i didn't ever get to meet him which sucks but I'm very, I'm a very forgiving person. I think you guys can see that as as we're here. And so yeah, um, the, so I was adopted. Like I said, I have. I really feel like I should be going live on my YouTube too as well. But I mean on my Facebook. But yeah, so I was adopted at a young age and, um. Uh, biologically, I have one sister, and I have four brothers. <laughs> and adopted, I have two brothers and three sisters. So, and then stepwise, stepsister, I have two stepsisters and a stepbrother. I talk like a white girl. It's so annoying. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, uh, I have a really freaking big family. And it's hard for me to deal with because I don't think that people who are not adopted and um, don't really understand like how to be able to maintain something so big, especially when you know both sides now and you know everybody, because it's like you wanna chill with some people and you don't wanna make your other siblings jealous or you don't wanna make your parents jealous. It's difficult being adopted, I'ma just say that. So yeah. Um, yeah, so I was adopted, blah, blah, blah. And when I was the age of like 16, 17, I ran away. And that's another story. I ran away, and I have been living on my own since then. And it's 20, I'm 27. I did, however, go back to my father's house that adopted me. Because when I was adopted, they were married, my godparents, and then they got divorced. Um, but my, my parents, when I refer them as my parents, I mean my parents who adopted me, my parents lived like 30 minutes from each other. So when I, after I ran away, I went back to my dad's house for like three months max. And that's it. But I've always been on my own. I've always either lived with friends or with a boyfriend. I think I lived with a boyfriend twice. But um, I've always been doing this shit. Like, listen, honey, the grind don't stop. Y'all heard? 
you got to get the shmoney. You got to make things pop because nobody else is going to make them pop for you. <laughs> so fucking extra. This is probably going to be weird. I'm going to tell you guys what this is probably going to be weird. I have a pillow that I sit on. I'm not sitting on it right now, though. And it's like a makeup pillow. And I brush all my eyeshadow off here. Like my excess eyeshadow. So I can, because I use the same brush for a lot of stuff because I don't have brushes. I wash this pillow weekly. This pillow is huge. So there's all kind of places I could dust off on here. I don't dust off on the same place. There's already eyeshadow. And I wash this thing, like I said, weekly. Ooh, swatch this color. Oof, baby. I'm using my Take Me to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics, who I really, really do love. I love this. I really want all kind of popping colors, but I'm broke. I have bills to pay when I live by myself. So I'm going to go ahead and as my base color, I did use, you probably are wondering, I used the, <sighs> sorry guys, I used the Pro Conceal and I used the Yellow Corrector for my to clean up my eyebrows and to lay the base down for my eyeshadow yes yellow corrector mind your business now these don't have names so I'm gonna go in with this color right here um I got kicked out by um, my boyfriend okay so like I gave you guys like the gist of my background so you guys already you know um, what's kind of going on with my life or what happened in my life so to speak because I'm 27 years old now and that stuff is behind me but um I just gotta do bring that bad boy baby I um when I ran away I was like 16 17 and um when I ran away I was living with a boyfriend of mine who was a lot older than I was I think I was, I want to say I was like 17, but don't quote me because I don't remember. And I was dating a guy who was in his 20s. He was a lot older than I was, and I had met him at a party. He knew my age, um, but he was still highly attracted to me on some non-pedophile shit because, honey boo-boo, at the age of 17, I look like a grown-ass woman. So everybody thought that I was older than what I really was. Um, and... Yeah, we kicked it. He was a cool guy. He was a gentleman, whatever, whatever. So I was going through a lot of things, which is why I ran away, which is for another story. But um, I ended up moving in with him, and he was amazing. He taught me how to cook. He taught me how to drive. Um, he taught me how to be a woman, and it was really wonderful. Like, I, I love that man. And that house that we lived in, it was his house. He had already paid for it. Like, it was a good. It was good. It was great. It was really, really good. And I owe that man so much, but he's like, damn, you're married now with kids. So um, when I was with him, he, I was young, but I remember asking him, like, if he ever wanted to get married and have kids. And homeboy told me no. And <laughs> look at him now, kids and married, damn near. But that's another story. So we ended up breaking up, like, after a year because he told me he didn't want those things. And, you know, one day I wanted that. So fast forward, I don't even know, where the fuck I met this thing? Okay, so I had met, like, this was like years later. So I'm living, I don't know, I think, oh, okay, okay. So remember how I told y'all I went back to my family's house for like three months or something like that, to my dad's house? Okay, so I met this guy on Plenty of Fish, okay? And we decided to meet up and have dinner in like Lake Eola, which is downtown Orlando. And he was beautiful. He was so beautiful. And he knew how to sing, honey. He knew how to sing my pennies off. Not really. But he was... He could sing. That's, that's what I'm going to tell you guys. He could sing. So he could sing really, really good. And I was just so impressed by him. Okay, guys. The next color I think I'm going to go in is going to be this, like, mustard yellow. So I was really, really impressed with him. He was really handsome. His profile was really cute. And we met up. We went to eat. And he was just a gentleman. He was such a sweetheart. We literally were together for like three hours. We walked around the lake together. I told him about my life. He told me about his. We talked about past relationships. Like, it was really, really dope. By the way, I'm using this color, obviously, for like the top lid. The top of my, um, of my case. This mustard color. 
So it was really, really lit. Like he was, he was really, really, really cool. Like I really liked him. So we ended up chit chatting for a little bit, and um, I went home. And I remember I spoke to him for hours on the phone. He was so romantic. He was such a gentleman. And I don't know, but we moved pretty fast. I want to say like not even like a month, maybe a month. He was like, "Come live with me," and I was like, "What?" And he was like, "Yeah, come live with me." It was a crazy fucking situation. Okay, so he was living with his homegirl right and okay <laughs> he didn't tell me come live with me yet he was living with a homegirl and um he was telling me that he was sleeping on the couch that him and this girl they were not having sexual affairs because it was a one-bedroom house but that his bed she was sleeping on because he brought it from his old house xyz right so i'm like okay but he's telling me he's not he's not hunching this girl whatever and i'm believing him because we go out together we you know, where I'm always with this dude. So why do I need to think that he's out here doing whatever I think he's doing? And I talked to him all kind of hours. Like we would talk until like four in the morning. So I knew he wasn't doing nothing with this roommate girl. He was sleeping on her couch, whatever. He was working when he was working and he was sleeping on her couch. He had a really good job. Still does actually. And oh, don't ask me how I know that. I'll be like this. So the next color I'm going to go in is this like brown, this orange color right here. So, um, I'm like, damn, you let this girl sleep on your bed? And he was like, yeah, why? And I was like, what if she be, like, fucking dudes on your bed? And he was like, um, no, she does not let dudes, um, she barely be letting people come over here. And if she did, she not fucking anybody on my bed. And I said, are you sure about that? Because, listen, <laughs> Listen, I be knowing women are conniving. He kept telling me, no, no, no. Like, he really, really trusted this girl. So I'm like, okay, if you telling me that it's not what it is, then it's not what it is. I'm not going to keep pressing the issue with you. So he was like, nah, blah, blah, blah. So I remember one day, um, me and him went to the movies and we went out to eat. And we were driving by his house, but we weren't going to his house. We were going to stay somewhere else. I, I don't even remember where we were staying. But we were not staying at his house that night. We went to stay somewhere else. I fucking don't remember where we were staying. So he was driving by the house. And I say to him, um, hey, you know, I think we were staying at his friend's house that night. So I say to him, as we're driving by his house, like, I bet you she got a nigga in her bed right, a nigga in your bed right now. He was like, no, she don't. And I gave him a look. He gives me a look. And he hits the illest U-turn. Goes back. Turns around to go back to the house, right? So, damn, my teeth look so nice. No, I do not want in them with anything, you guys, okay? Brush your damn teeth. So, he's on his way, turning around, making a U-turn to go back to his damn house. And I'm just like, eh, it's about to be a what? Okay. So, I'm laughing because I'm like, this is something that should have been done. I'm like, a little, I was a little instigator back then. I'm not going to lie. I am not going to lie to y'all. So, he's hitting this U-turn. And I'm sitting here like, eh, like, yeah, we're about to find out, like, what's really popping. So he gets this U-turn, we, we get into the apartment. So he's like, wait right here. So I'm like, why? He's like, because if she it doesn't have anybody, I don't want to embarrass her, you know? So I'm like, fine, fine, I'll stay inside. I'll stay inside the car. So he keeps the car running. I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there. I'm waiting, you guys. I'm freaking waiting, 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 waiting. And I'm thinking to myself, like, Yo, where is he at? Like, it's been, like, five minutes now. It doesn't take that long to walk in the house and see if somebody's in the bed or not. So, I'm getting antsy. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm about to get out the car and go figure out which one is the house. I think I had been in that house before, so I knew which house it was. So, I was like, I'm about to go and see what's up. As I'm getting ready to take my seatbelt off, I mind you, I'm still looking at the little mirror right there to see if, um... You know, if I see anything. And boy, I see this big old six foot two, 200 whatever pound man running to the car. <laughs> Yo, he's running to the car, you guys. And I'm thinking to myself, like, what is going on? I don't know why I'm telling you guys. This just like defeats the purpose. But anyways, not really. So um, he's running to the car and he puts that bitch in reverse and we haul ass. And he's breathing hard i'm looking at his hands like what the hell's going on and he tells me he goes up in the house and she got a full-grown man laying up in his bed 
So he goes in there and he taps the guy on the on the guy acts like he's sleeping. So he taps the guy and he's like, "Yo, buddy." And the guy acts like he's dead asleep. So he's telling the girl, like, I told you not to have nobody in my bed. Why would you play me like this? So he's trying to wake the guy up. The guy does not want to wake up. So he's like, yo, buddy, wake up. And the guy jumps up and was like, what the fuck? Don't be touching me, blah, blah, blah. So the guy starts acting crazy. Now, mind you, my ex-boyfriend, he crazy, but, like, he not going to jump if you don't jump first. So he basically was just trying to tell homeboy, get up out of my bed. He wasn't going to start nothing. But homeboy swung at him. So he swung back. And they start fighting. They start fighting, they start fighting, homeboy pulls a knife out on my ex, my ex punches him in the jaw, breaks his whole jaw, now his jaw's like, uh, leaning. Police get called, blah, blah, blah. So now he's pressing charges on um, my ex, and the roommate, his roommate, my ex's roommate is like, I don't want you here, you need to come get your shit, blah, blah, blah. How you gonna hit this man? Whatever the case is. So he goes and grabs his shit, whatever, when there's nobody home. So, the homeboy tried to press charges on my ex, called the police, he was trying to sue him for like over 100000 because that's how much his medical bill was to like draw, to, to wire his jaw back together, but um, he was doing too much talking while he was in the hospital bed and was messaging people on Facebook telling people that he pulled the knife out first, and that's how he got his jaw punched. So basically, the um, the case got thrown out because obviously my ex boyfriend was defending himself with somebody holding a knife. So after that, he gets kicked out, and he's like staying with this chick, right? Another chick that he works with, cool girl, cool girl. I'm always over there because that's my man. So I guess she kind of gets tired of always, you know, seeing us there. Whatever the case is, he's sleeping on the couch. I'm telling you, I'm a ride or die, boo. Because I don't even know why I was doing all this. So, he's like, fine, whatever. So, then he finds a place to rent. He finds a little apartment to rent. Not an apartment. He finds a room to rent out of this dude's house. So, he starts living with old boy. Then he asks me to move in with him. And he even comes to my house and asks my dad to let me move with him. (laughs) My dad was like, she's grown. Like, she can do whatever she wants. So... Um, I ended up moving with him, and it's me, him, living in a room, sharing a room out of some guy's house. It was super cash, though, because, like, the guy was never home, and his house was pretty much ours. It was, it was straight. I didn't have no problem with it. Um, a man worked all day. I didn't work. He'd come home, and food would be cooked. We'd go to the gym, and he'd eat. We'd do grown stuff, and go to sleep, and repeat. So, Like I said, at my age, I was always very pretty. I always looked grown. My face was clear. And I guess, um, I don't know why, I guess my social media, because I always had like a really big following. I guess it was just being, becoming too much for him. I don't know. And he just got really tired of it. Or I don't know. I think he just got really, I think he got really insecure of the fact that I had a big following and it it just probably bothered him. The next color I'm going to go in with is, the color I'm going to go in with is this Shani palette. It's, it's um, another one that does not have a name, but I'm going to go in with this brown color right here. So, like I was saying, he um, was kind of getting insecure, which I don't know why. I mean, I could kind of understand because when we would go to the gym together, guys would literally be like drooling over me, like staring at me. And that's not to toot my own horn. Like that's being serious. So I think it was just becoming a little too much for him. And I think it was bothering him at one point. And I think at one point he even saw me staring back at a guy, but it wasn't like to be like, you know, lusting over the guy. I just happened to look over. And so then he started accusing me of cheating I never cheated, ever. But he was accusing me of cheating. Like, what the hell I look like? I'm living with this grown man and I'm going to cheat on him. Like, I don't get down like that. I don't know what you little fast-ass heifers do, but I don't do that. I'm a ride or die. I stick by my man, whatever. So, he started getting insecure. So, I think I was cheating on him and I was not. I absolutely was not cheating on him. And um, I think me and him got into, like, a really big fight. Like, you know, because... Because it was just too much to do it. So we got into a big fight. And I went on social media and I was like, single. Like, I'm done. Because we were broken up. So I put single. Didn't think anything of it. I did not go on social media for the next, like, two or three days. 
And so we're at home one day and we're hanging out and because we were good, we we're back good again. And my phone rings. Mind you, it's like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> my phone rings. My friend calls me to ask me how I'm doing and I'm like, I'm good. And he's in the background like putting on speakerphone because he knows it's a guy. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I put on speakerphone and he's like, oh, I just wanted to see how you were. And I'm like, Chris, why are you calling me right now? It's 11 o'clock at night. You know I have a man. He's like, oh, I didn't know you had a man. The other day you wrote you were single on Twitter. What the hell was that for? This nigga went berserk. Oh, you, I fucking knew it. Screaming. Now he's screaming at me and my boy's on the phone like laughing. Like, is that your man? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, tell him to calm down. And I'm like, please don't instigate. And he's yelling at me. So I hang up the phone. My ex is like, you need to pack your shit and get out. I'm like, okay. Now, mind you, mind you guys. I am the reason why the charges got dropped on his case for when he broke that guy's jaw. <clears throat> now I'm going to go in with this color that I swatched in the beginning. So I am the reason why that those charges got dropped to begin with. Because when all that was happening and the guy was in the hospital with his wire, with his mouth wired shut, I, I went on his um, Facebook, and he was writing, like, little stuff, but he wasn't really explaining, like, what happened. So I asked my friend if I can go under her name because uh, I saw that they were mutual friends. And she was like, yeah, that's fine. So I went under her name, and I wrote him. And I started writing him, and I was like, oh, my God, what happened to you? I just read your status. Is everything okay, boo? He was like, yeah. This fuck nigga, he, um, just this fuck nigga, he thought he had me, he was a pussy nigga, I pulled a knife out on him, and that's why he punched me in my jaw and broke my shit, fuck that nigga, excuse me for my language, oh my god, I forgot, but I'm just being real, so the guy was talking my shit, like, oh, um, yeah, I pulled out a knife on him, you know, cause he thinking he talking to my homegirl, and he think, like, he macho brave man, yeah, I pulled out a knife on him, blah, 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 blah. That's all right, though, because he's going to be paying these hospital bills, uh, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Um, just stay safe and be careful. You know, you don't want no more problems. So he's like, okay. He was talking to me. I printed all of that shit out. The detective hit my ex up, and I sent him all of that. Case got dropped. You just admitted to bringing out a, a knife during the fight, and that's why my ex defended himself. Well, mind you, if it wasn't for me, my ex would have been paying a lot of money for one, and for two, um, he would probably be in jail right now. But, you know, you can't be a ride or die for everybody because these Negroes don't appreciate it. So that happened. So then when he's arguing with me about getting out of his house, he's like, you need to leave. You're cheating on me. I'm like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. So he's like, yes, you are. You're cheating on me. I'm not stupid. And I'm like, listen, I'm not going anywhere. I live here. I'm staying here. I have nowhere to go. I'm literally not going back to my family's house. Like, that's not happening. So he was like, you need to leave. When I come back tomorrow from work, your stuff better be gone or I'm going to throw everything out outside. So now I start crying because I'm like, dude, you're tripping. And I'm crying because I'm mad. I'm like, yo, you're really tripping right now, dog. Like, ain't nobody cheating on you. How am I cheating if you give me your car to drop you off at work every day and I have to drive back with that thing on E? On E. Who am I going to cheat with with a gas tank on E? Like, where am I go? This man talking about something. You probably go see a guy and he gets you just a just just enough gas to put it back on E so it doesn't look suspicious. Talk about crazy, right? Yeah, that's what he was. So I'm like, ain't nobody cheating on you. You're tripping. He was like, I don't care. I don't want you here. Mind you, I was still kind of young then, so I didn't really know that he couldn't really kick me out. <clears throat> it's not your house. And I have mail coming here. So in the state of Florida, as long as I got that, then boo-boo, you're going to have to evict me. But I didn't know all that then. So um, I had a friend whose mom lived on the street, and I was really close to her and her daughter and him. But it was him. It was his mom and his her daughter. So she was like, oh, you could stay here. I have an extra room, blah, blah, blah. So I said, okay. So I went all the way over there, and he <clears throat> grabbed all my stuff the next day, and he basically dropped me the hell off over there. 
Okay, so I'm using this other brush to blend the colors in. And that looks crappy on here, but trust me, it looks lit. So, <clears throat> he um, dropped all my stuff off, and that was it. And then I wasn't at the house that day. I was at work, and when he dropped my stuff off the next day, and the lady was trying to explain to him, like, listen, Cash is a good girl. Don't do this. We've known Cash for years. She's not the type to cheat when she really loves somebody. But he didn't care. He was like, nope, I don't trust her. Some dude called her in the middle of the night. Blah, Jay, blah. Just all crazy. So he kicked me out. I ended up living with this lady for a couple of weeks. And then it started getting really bad over there because then she had all other people living over there. And then it became like, it was too, too much. And uh, I, I lived there, I want to say maybe three months. I lived with this lady. And I love this lady to death. You know, to this day, I still got love for her. You know, I don't talk to her no more. I've not spoken to her since I moved out of her house. But, um, yeah, I, I have love for her. I just don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mm -mm, mm -mm. And I ended up meeting my ex when I was living with her who now has passed away. God bless her soul. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, that is my story <laughs> to when I got kicked out, my ex-boyfriend got kick me out and you guys are probably wondering do you talk to him like what's the story with him now um whatever whatever i wish you guys could see oh my acne is disgusting like the colors blended it looks so great but this this laptop isn't doing me justice this laptop is not doing me justice it looks really really cute though just know that so, <clears throat> yes, I do. I still talk to him. Um, we did not talk for a while because, I mean, he really hurt me, you guys. And I thought that that was really low of him to do. Like, <clears throat> you know, I have... I just thought that was really low of him to do. Like, you know, I have nowhere to live, nowhere to go. And you're going to kick me out off of speculation that you think I'm cheating on you because a friend of mine called and is going off of what I have wrote on my social media, which I did write that. And I told him that I wrote that. But he just was not trying to hear it. So, but also, I also was kind of just like, um, <clears throat> I also was just kind of like fed up with the situation because um, prior to that one night we were sitting in the bed <clears throat> and I grabbed his phone and he was texting another girl. She was sending him pictures of herself in her underwear and I think he had sent her like some face pictures, nothing like <clears throat> how she was sending him, but still, we were, you're talking to another girl and she told him, oh, when you and your girlfriend break up, you know, hit me up, I'll be waiting and he said, yeah, I'll definitely do that, like, and I didn't break up with him. We argued, we fought, and he begged me not to leave him. He was like, I love you, please don't do this, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, fine, 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 fine. I stayed with him. I gave him hell, but I stayed with him because I really, really loved him. But when it came with the table's turn, you know men do not play that. So he definitely was like, I don't want you here. You need to leave my house, blah, blah, blah. You're cheating on me. You guys, I was not cheating on that man, okay? Now, fast forward, he is married. Uh, not only is he married, he's going through a separation right now because she's crazy. He's going through a separation right now because she's crazy. And I'm not trying to put his business out there, but nobody really knows what I'm talking about unless you absolutely know me. And um, we're cool. He actually just left because um, he got promoted. To a really good job that he's always wanted. While we were together, he wanted this job. And he finally got it. It's been years. It's been years, you guys. More than seven years. And <clears throat> he finally got this job. So, um, he came to see me before he left. And um, he basically just told me what was going on with his life and stuff like that. And how he's getting separated. <clears throat> Did I ever get back with him? No. And that's not throwing any kind of shade or anything towards him, but... He's just not my type. After hanging out with him, you know, for the first time and stuff like that, I realized how much he is not my cup of tea. People grow, you know? When people grow up and they... I've, I heard, like, a statistic saying, like, every seven years, you you're change, you change in the way you like things and the type of men that you like, everything. So, 
he's not my type anymore. Maybe when I was younger and naive and dumb, yeah, sure. But now, absolutely not. He's not my type at all. Okay, so I went ahead and added off camera some orange underneath my eyes. Um, not sure if I'm going to actually keep that there because I don't want it to um, make it look like I look sick. Because Another thing that I do, you guys, when I'm like doing my makeup and my lips are chapped, I put honey on them. Because not only does it taste good, it's good for your lips. It's like a scrub. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead with my Milani primer. I always go in with my Derma Blend. Um, and since this foundation, this Milani foundation, is um, foundation and concealer, I'm going to just lightly apply this, not too much. This is color Creamy Beige. I've had this for years, and I just had it sitting in like a box because I thought it was like mainly only for hickeys and tattoos, but clearly not. So let's go ahead it's got a little pumpy thing and what I like about this it's a pumpy thing and I mean obviously a lot of foundations are like this but not my Becca it has a little stick in it so I'm gonna go ahead and so I got some I don't know how much this is going to um, look like my skin color so we're just gonna wing it swing it bling it Wow, I'm back and I look like a ghost. <laughs> but it doesn't look that bad in the mirror as it does here. So maybe if I set it, it'll look a little better. So go ahead with the Airspun Naturally Neutral. Oh, it's like a brownish white color. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face and then bake. So I'm going to take my brush from Sephora Blush Contour Blush Contour 74. set it looks a little wider now don't worry got this I'm gonna take this little spongy thing mine is a little dirty shut your mouths and um, do some blush and whatnot just to make it look not as white and ghostly. I'm using the Blush and Bronze by Profusion. I love Profusion. I've always loved them before people have been catching up to who they are. I'm using Shadow Bronze with a little bit of Light Bronze and then I'm gonna go in with um, Soft Rose and Coral Pink. So I'm gonna start with here, Shadow Bronze and then Light Bronze. And then after I do Coral Pink, Soft Pink. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the false fiber lashes from L'Oreal's Voluminous False Fiber Lashes Mascara. I am really, really living for this mascara. Look at this, baby. Oh, this little piece right here, go the hell away. Why are you? My um, 
Eyelashes, they never stay up. But nonetheless, in person, in this mirror, honey, I'm slaying for the gods. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, take this air spun off because I want to apply some highlights. I still look a little white in the camera, but I don't look that white <laughs> in person. I mean, I do look a little bit paler, so I think I needed to go another shade darker. But when I tried that shade, it seemed a little too dark, but I'm going to buy it and then we'll be the judge, right? Next, I'm going to use Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. If you know me, you know this is always going to be my go-to until it is done. And even when it's done, I'll probably go and buy some more. Or I might just go ahead and buy the Bretman one next. But clearly, Forever Lit is like my lit, my latest one. And that is the one I'm going to use right now. <laughs> I'm going to use Forever Lit and Daydream. So Daydream and Forever Lit. Baby, I'm blinding you. I am blinding you. That sounds horrible. As you can see, the highlighter is blinding, bitch. Like I said, this makeup does look a little white on me, but um, in person, it looks almost similar. It does look a little ghostly, just a little bit, but I'm going to go back to Walmart and get the other color. I'm going to keep this color for my collection, so when I start doing makeup, I have all kind of foundation. Now, next, I'm going to use the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I hope this works. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and just spray this bitch. Okay, so. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so that is pretty much my entire, like, routine for my face. Um, it does look a little wet right now. I'm going to go ahead and do my hair. Uh, I'll let you know the products that I'm using and um, yeah, I'll just let you know the products that I'm using but I'm going to go do my hair now and then when I come back I'll show you my after completely done with my hair done and what products I use. Okay? Okay. What's up? I'm back. So this is the end result with the new makeup that I just bought. And I used Twist Twisted Sisters um, Leave-In Cream into my hair. Um, all I did was wet my hair and then just apply. And I wish I had better lighting so that you guys could see how lit and beautiful my hair is. It's still wet, so you're not going to be able to see as much greatness as I want you to see. I have to go to work now. I'm about to get dressed so I can leave. Um, I hope you guys like this video, love this video. So if you watched this fully, you like my story, you want more of this, like, love, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know your thoughts. Um, my social media is all Cash Arroyo. Um, this is the only thing that's different. That girl with PCOS. Everything else is Cash Arroyo. And I'm going to start rolling out with my new videos on Instagram, my one minute reviews. So make sure that you definitely tune in for that because I'm going to be reviewing all kind of hair stuff, all kind of makeup stuff. Anything that you guys reach out to me and ask me about. So nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching, tuning in, and actually caring about my boring ass life. So thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you later. Mwah.